You're probably wondering why I sound like I've just lost any kind of happiness. Well, that's because I just saw a movie that was so bad that it just made me feel nothing. And that movie is Joker Fully a Dude. More like Joker Fully a Dud, get it? Now, let me just start off by saying that I don't really like the first Joker movie that much. Nor do I like Todd Phillips, I think he's a hack. That's not to say the first one doesn't have its merits, which it does because it has really good cinematography and of course Joaquin Phoenix is great as the Joker. And I will admit the score was pretty great. But besides those, it's just a mediocre movie with a bad screenplay, bland direction, and just not good acting except from Phoenix himself. And even to this day, I'm still pissed off and won the Golden Lion at Venice over Mary's story. Like, are you kidding me? And yes, I am baffled too that we actually let this movie gross a billion dollars. So, given those thoughts you just heard, you can tell I wasn't particularly jumping in excitement when I heard that a sequel was going to be made. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna skip to the part where I actually watched it, and yeah, it's shit. Pretty much everything that was bad about the first film is made even worse with this new one. The screenplay is horrendous beyond believe the direction is somehow even worse this time which i didn't know what that was possible but i guess todd phillips managed to outdone himself this time i guess the editing is generic the production design is bland because we really only spent time in two locations it desperately tries to recreate scenes from the first one without putting anything new the score isn't that memorable and to make matters worse it tries to be both a jukebox musical and a courtroom drama and it succeeds at neither literally the only good things about this movie are both the cinematography and the acting and even then there's a catch on both sides the cinematography can be good but it just looks bland and while gaga is excellent she's barely in this but easily this film's worst attribute is the fact that it just feels pointless it doesn't feel like it has a purpose for existing other than to capitalize on the success of the first one. Overall, Joker Fully a Dude is nothing more but a studio demanded film. It has no purpose for existing other than to capitalize on the first film's success and I am so glad that we're not going to get another one of these. If this and Joker 1 have proven anything, is that Todd Phillips should never do dramas again. Because he has proven with both films that he doesn't know how to do drama that is not just copying other far superior films. Don't even spend your money on this and see it in theaters, just pirate it like I did. There are far more superior films that are currently out in theaters right now that you could watch instead of this. Like, go watch The Wild Robot, go watch Saturday Night, go watch The Substance, Go watch Transformers 1. Hell, I even go as far as to recommend you watch Megalopolis than this. Sure, it may not be good, but I guarantee it's more worth your money than this soulless corporate film. So yeah, Joker Fully a Dude gets a 3 out of 10, just avoid it. Well, I might as well give off a mini review on Transformers 1, and yeah, I loved it. While I do wish it was a bit funnier and Sentinel Prime is kind of a lame villain, I still think this is the best Transformers film we've ever gotten. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to rewatch an actual good comic book movie that came out this year, thank you very much.